everyone, it's Courtney here from Creative Courtney, and today we're going to be doing the Adult Mirror Dragon from Dragon Bay. So, let's get started. Okay, so for this tutorial, we'll be doing the Adult Mirror Dragon, which is way uh, larger than the the baby, which is so it's going to take a while, and we're going to need a lot of orange, as you can see, some yellow for the stomach, some blue and green. Um, some white, some black, some other green for the tongue, and two reds for the nostrils. And, um, I'm going to eventually run out of orange, so you just keep doing orange, just mine won't look like an adult mirror dragon because of the, I don't have much orange left, so I'll try to start off with orange. But if I run out, then I'm going to probably switch to another color or just wait and then come back to this with more orange. So, let's get started on my leg. Let's go. Okay, so you're going to take, at first you're going to take two oranges and go down the four middle ones. You're going to ignore the two on the ends. And you're going to go down the four middle ones seven times on all of them. So the four middle ones are going to go down seven times. Let's go. Then take two bands and go down twice on these two on the end. Then go down one time here, so your loom should look like this. Then you're going to take two bands, you're going to go from here to here, and you're going to go from here to here. Okay? Then you're going to want to mm, double loop the whole thing. Let's go. Even the bottom one at the end. Okay, now I'm going to take two black bands, go down twice on the two bands you did not use down here at the bottom. So just go down here like this, and then go down one more time on the end, and then Take two more, go across, and take one more, no, two more, and double loop these two here. And then you're going to want to loop, now take one band, cap it off, loop the whole thing, go back and make another one, so it should look like this. I'm going to want to go back and make another one of those, so let's go. I'm going to show you where to place these on the loom in just a minute. Okay, so the first one, you're going to go through the first loops. You're going to claim those, and you're going to place them here. And you're going to place the other end right here. You're going to take the other one, and you're going to go through each different set of loops again. Make sure you get all of them. You're going to go here. And you're going to go here, across, to there. And so you, they should be placed here and here. Okay, then you're just going to loom up the whole thing, go back and make another one, and we'll see you in the lower jaw. Let's do this, let's go. Okay, so you have your first leg, and you have to do the mirror technique on this if you want the this front one to be on both ends, unless you want the back side to show. I don't want the back side to show, so I'm going to do the mirror technique. I'll leave a link to Courtney Nicole's channel in the description again. Um, but just do the mirror technique, and you should be fine if you know what that is. I explained it in my earlier videos to so just do that on the other leg. So, let's go to the upper jaw. I mean, lower jaw, lower jaw, lower jaw. Let's go. Go down all of the columns seven times. Let's go. With yellow bands. Let's go. Then go then go down two times in the middle. Then one time next set. Take two bands, go diagonally in here. Take two more bands, go diagonally in here. 
take two more bands, go diagonally in here, and take two more bands and go diagonally in here. Look like that. Now we're going to double loop the whole thing. Let's go. I'm going to take two bands and go down three times at the bottom. So I'm going to go down three times from there to the bottom. Double loop all of it, including the bottom. Then loom that up and I'll show you where to attach it. You're going to attach it, you're going to go through one of the loops and you're going to attach it to here. At the top, push it down, attach the next one right next to it. Go through those loops and push it down. Because this can come undone if we do not push the bands down. So just attach that right there to those two top bands right there. Then lean the whole thing up, tie the slip knots at the top, and then I'll see if the upper jaw. Okay, let's go. And push it through one end so it's like this and then we're ready to move on to the upper jaw so see you there let's go before we move on to the upper jaw we have to make these little head pieces that go on the head and I want to do the ones on the tail quick too so for the ones on the head you need to make you need to go back and make two more of these you need some blue and some green you're gonna go down with two blue bands at the top two blue bands go out and then they go out like this and they go out like this and then they go down one I'll just do it fast so I can show you what it looks like. so this is what it looks like you're gonna have to go back and make another one of these this these are double looped bands and this bottom one down here with the two blues that's two just blue bands and then loom this up and make two more and then we'll have to make um, uh, three more of another one. So let's make up three of these first and then we'll go to the other one. So let's go. Okay, you're gonna make you're gonna want to make one all blue instead of with the green, and then you're gonna have to make five of these ones. This is double loop. This is just two bands. So let's just make five of these right now. And then take one band and pull that on. Do it to all. Of them. Now we're actually going to make the upper jaw. Go down the middle two columns all the way down to the bottom. Let's do that. Take two bands, go outward from here, and go outward from here, go outward from here, go outward from here, then go down all the way down now. I'm going to take off some bands. This is what it should look like. Now we're going to go in on all ends. Double loop the whole thing with orange. Let's go.
take off this double loop and this double loop and this double loop and these two and these two. And I'll show you what to do in a minute. Okay, take one red, wrap it around your hook, creating four loops, and do the same to another one. Take two band two orange, pull that on, do the same thing with the other one. Pull the other one on your hand, like this. I have two of these. We're gonna place them on the two that we just took off and then replace the double loop bands. Let's do that right now. Then loom up to the fourth peg from the top. Let's go. Then we're gonna take the two big ones we made and we're gonna place them on this peg here and this this peg here. So both of those pigs right here. Both those. Let's do that. Then we're gonna take the three tiny ones. We're gonna place one here. No. Yes. One here, one here, one here. So one here. One here. One. We're going to place here. Remember to push them down. Okay, we still have to touch the lower jaw. And then this one. Go right. Right there. And push that one down. This is what we should have. The big ones down here, those are the two big ones, and then the, all the other ones you see are the tiny ones. Okay? Then we're going to push all these down. And we're going to attach the lower jaw. So get your lower jaw out. And we're going to face it downward like this. Go through the loops on the right. Take off the slip knot band. And then... You have all the loops, and place them on this peg that has the big one on it. So, no. place them on this peg. Place the big loops on this one for the right side. You're going to place it on the right side of the loom. You're going to place that. Hold it down and loop up carefully. So do that. I can't loom up this one. I can't loom up this one yet because I have to attach. So just attach the lower jaw to all the pegs, then loom it up fast. Okay, so do that and don't break any bands. Or well, try not to break any bands. So let's do that right now. gonna push this middle one through the top of the head like this and then we're gonna be ready to do the eyes because we're gonna attach them onto here okay so I didn't attach them for a reason we're gonna do them right now okay so stay tuned for that okay gonna wrap a white a black a white a black and a white okay so white black White, white, black, white. White, white, black, white. Push it down, take an orange, double loop it on your hook, and pull everything onto it. I'm going to do mine fast so you shouldn't mess up with it. Got this. And we're gonna hold one end. We're gonna go through where we want the eye to go, like this. Like I'm gonna push it through here. And this I'm gonna grab another orange. And this with the mouth is, I'm gonna grab another orange. Then I'm gonna pull the orange through the head. And then it's gonna go through the double loop bands. So let's try to do that. Okay, it went through the double loop band, so I'm going to claim it with my hook. 
Okay, and this end with my hook. I'm just going to claim it on my hook. And I'm going to hold it on my finger. Okay. I'm going to hold it on my finger. And the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. So just go through a spot in the head and then put the, 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 the double loop end on it. Grab another orange and then pull the orange through it. So now I'm gonna um, tie a slip knot for this for these oranges over here right now. Just gonna tie a slip knot right now for the other side so I can use my fingers, but I'm gonna take it off in a minute. Not really now, but I just you need to hold the hold the other end of the double loop with your hand. So hold this part of the eye with your hand, and then you're gonna go down. No, okay, you're gonna hold your eye as if you're gonna go down into it. So like this, and then poke where you want to go. So like this, and you're gonna pull that orange through it, pull through the head, and then pull it through the other one. Okay, and we're gonna I'm gonna tie it around the little ear pieces. I'm gonna tie this end around this ear piece. Like I'm gonna tie it around this one. This part of the eye is tied around this piece. Oh god. And then you're gonna do the same thing to the other one, it's gonna get tied around this ear piece here. So let's do I'm gonna untie my slip knot and we'll do that right now. So let's do that. Okay, and then I'm going to spread the eyes, and I'm going to go through the two ones, so I'm maybe going to, I'm going to put my hand through it, same thing, go through that and go down, and I'm going to tie it around the back one that is right behind it, so I'm going to do that one again, and just kind of mess with it if you know what I mean. So just do that. So now I have this, and now this one has to come up here. So I'm gonna go down. Oh god! I'm gonna pull it up. God, it went away. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Pull it. Oh god! I think I got it. And then have those loops and pull it back to the one right behind it. So it kind of looks like this. Okay, so you kind of mess with it and you kind of get a product that looks like this. It looks kind of cool if you ask me. So I may do most of my videos of adults like this just because it's cool. But this is an exception because it has like these ear pieces everywhere that's easy to attach it to. So now let's head on to the belly. We attach the head, the legs, and get ready for the tail. So let's go do that. And the two middle columns with orange bands. Let's go do, go do that. Go out twice from here and out twice like this. Do the same thing on the other side and then go down six times, almost to the end. Let's do that. Then go down eight times this column and this column. Let's do that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go in like this, go in like this, and in like this. And so then it looks like this, and then do that on the same other side. So then you go in on this side, and then double loop the whole thing. Let's do that right now. Take the head and attach it upside down where the lower jaw is facing up. Go through these loops and place them on these two bottom pegs and them up one time. Let's do it. Loom up to the fifth peg from the bottom. So let's do that. Okay. 
Now we're going to grab your legs and the one where it's like pointing downward with pointing downward and not pointing outward, we're going to take it pointing upward like this and we're going to face it to where it's pointing near the head and then attach that on on um, the four pegs so let me just zoomed up this one, this one, and this one, and this one and also notice the other side so I'm going to mine real fast I'm show you how it looks after it's done Okay, so it should look like this, where it's all loomed up, and so um, you place it and then loom it up before you place the other one, so do that, and then loom up the rest of the whole thing, tie it off with a slip knot, and then move on to the tail, so let's go do that. And the two middle columns all the way down. You're gonna take two bands and go out like this, like this, and then do this to the other side, and then um, go down these two. Um, you're gonna go down those six, and you're gonna go down the outer ones five. So do that. Your loom should look like this. So you have to go down um, seven times, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven times for um, these two. Seven times for those. Okay, on the ends, you're going to go in like this. And you're going to go in like this. And then you're going to do that on the other side. And then just d double loop this whole thing. So do that right. Then make this thing down here with all double looped bands, and I'll show you where to attach this in a minute. I'll just let you see it for a sec so you can see um, how I did it. And then just loom that whole thing up, and I'll show you where to attach it in a minute. So let's do that right now. Then take it off, and then take two more, and then pull that onto those two more. So do that. So now I have it on these two, and I'm going to show you where to attach it. Before we do that, we have to do the eyes. So take a white, wrap it around your hook, creating four loops, and do that to four more white. So do that right now. Then you're gonna take the orange double loop and pull all of that onto that double loop orange. And I'll show you where to attach those. Those will be the eyes. So let's do that right now. I'm gonna attach it. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna show you how I attached it. So let's do that right now. I'm sorry that was abrupt, guys. This last blue one, it's all blue on the tail. Um, the one that we attached, this blue one, we did it in the beginning, and it was one of the top head feathers. It was this one, like these head feathers. Sorry that was so abrupt. If you follow my directions, you would get it right and by placing it and just zooming it up. So now we're going to head straight in to the stomach, and we'll be all done. Okay, let's go do that. Now we're going to be starting the um, the stomach, and we're going to go down the two middle columns with the yeet bands. So let's do that right now. Then do this and go down five times on the ends, and I think seven times down the other two near the center. So let's do that right now. Come here. Do this Come and here. double loop the whole thing.
We're going to cap off the end. The bottom one down here. This one, we're going to cap it off with the one band wrapped around creating four loops. Then you're going to take your orange and we're going to place it throughout the loom. So I'm going to place mine. I'll show you in a minute. So let's go. It should look like this. All the oranges should be placed on these pegs. Okay, these two up here are going to tie them with two oranges, well one orange per thing, and just loop this whole thing out, pretending the oranges aren't even there, and we'll attach it to our adult new dragon, okay? So, let's zoom it up, and I'll see you by attaching it, let's go. Okay, so we have our adult, and we have our stomach, and what we're going to do is lay them upside down, and then open up one part, so then it's like open like this, and slip a leg through it. And then pull it all the way down. This makes it easier to do the rest of the steps we have to do, and do the same thing to the other side. Just find like a loose area, and put the leg into there. Try to aim for like an end part. Go to the end. Like that one got like a middle and it looked weird. So try to go for like the outer rim ish. Okay, this looks good. I just want it to be this. So now, the legs are in like this, and there's like some stomach around them, which is the way I want it to be. Okay, then we're going to start doing it. So you're going to face them upward now, and you're going to go through the orange band at the top, and just pull the orange band that is on attached to the other yellow band, like this, and it should be up like this. And you're going to do this to every single one of the bands that you have on the the stomach. <clears throat> okay, so you're gonna do that right now. Let's go. So now we're gonna do is we're gonna take one and we're gonna go through the next one and then hold that one and then go through the next one and keep doing that all the way on the body. So let's do that right now. Take the last one, wrap it around the thing on the head. And make sure it's secure. Like this thing up around one of these little things, okay? So I'll see you in a minute. Thanks everyone for watching my adult mirror dragon tutorial. And I'm sorry this video came out late. My Wi Fi was down. I was, feeling, I was feeling very ill. But I'm sorry this video did not come out sooner. So this is the adult mirror dragon tutorial. I hope you like it. Go make the baby because it's so cute. You have a matching pair. Go make the baby. I made two babies and two adults. So one's like a mom and daddy. And there's like the kids. So go make the kids or the baby. A link will be down in the description for the baby. Um, and just like on this video because it's a lot of work. And this weekend will be the adult glare dragon. Hopefully this one will come out on time. <laughs> okay, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.